Hi everybody, so I am going to do a little walkthrough of Cultivate What Matters 2020 Power Sheets. It's a goal planner if you've never heard of it before. And this is actually my first time doing a video that's shot straight down, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to show a few pages. I don't know if I'm going to show everything. You will see some in pages in here that are that are not attached yet, but I'll explain that in a second. The Cultivate What Matters Planner. Basically, it helps you get all your, you know, your goal setting, your all the thoughts that are somewhere in your head. You do have the answers in your head, I promise. Um, and this kind of helps you first draw a whole bunch of questions out. I'll show you those pages in a second. Then create goals for the year. And then you also can break them down for the quarter or every three months um, or every 90 days. This is the first time I actually got a whole year one. The first one I ever got was a six month one and it didn't have this already built in pocket, which I really appreciate. Now these are wild card pages. You don't get them when you buy just the planner. I bought them um, actually in a bundle with the planner. You can actually download these on their website, but I did want it to go ahead this year and get ones that were printed nicely instead of just printed on my printer paper because cutting them out is also not that quite fun for me. So I have a few in here that either don't have homes yet or are going to stay in here. This one's going to go, this meal one is actually going to go in my kitchen, um, but I have other ones here that may just stay in here as I'm working out, working through them. I'm not going to show you all the pages because that will take forever. However, I will show you just a general idea. So it does help you prep for your best year. And I love all the different parts of it. Uh, I haven't actually written in it at all because I barely got this a few days ago. And I just got the pens that I'm going to use for it. But I'll put a link in the description box of which pens I'm going to be using. Now, um, every planner does come with a sheet of stickers. But you can also buy uh, another sticker pack, which I went ahead and did. And this is the whole little booklet that they have. But I will go through that in a bit. I also got these magnetic bookmarks. They come in a pack of three. And I do really like that they're magnetic and that they're flat. So I really, really do like that. And I've already decided where I was putting everything. Um, for example... This is going to be in my prep work and in my move around. I added it to my prep work just because I wanted to always keep this in mind. It's okay to grow slow. So you have a goal idea page, all about you page, what fires you up. And then there's this section here. You might not see it all on camera. But it has health, friends, family, work, etc. They're all different categories that you will do a rating of a scale between 1 to 10. You can decide what 1 means to you and what 10 means to you. This is your planner, but generally people do 1 as the lowest and 10 as the highest. So you could rate them and then write a little blurb about why you rated that um, or anything that you want to work on with that. As you evaluate the area to not get stuck on negative self-talk, but you can write in positive things as well. The other thing here is you can put a circle or place a sticker on any of the areas you want to most cultivate this year. I'm most likely going to be doing a color coding kind of sticker system along with my pens. So you might see that on the next video when I actually write in here. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm putting, but I might be putting in like cute little stickers in different places just to make it look a little prettier. And then this actually builds into who you really are. And then they have a moving past fear page. And I really, really like these little pages they have every now and then. They have a little affirmation or positive words, which I do appreciate. The only thing that I don't particularly like, but I've, I've moved past it, is I really don't like gold. I'm not a gold person. Um, any type of gold that I do go to is more of a bronzy rose gold. So having a straight up gold in most of this book is a little annoying to me, but all of theirs have that. So just keep that in mind that either just use it for what it's worth with all of the great parts to it, um, or, you know, keep in mind that it does have gold practically everywhere. I wish it had a little less gold, but this year it seems like all of their products had gold in it. What worked in last year, what didn't work in the last year, lessons you learned. 
I know I learned a lot this year so far, and I'm not going to be doing all, all this prep work right now. If you're seeing this right when I upload this video, it's going to be done slowly over the next two months or so. And then I'm, I am going to do their uh, live prep week that I believe is around December 9th. But I am going to be taking some of these things and kind of writing in a separate notebook or my journal about them and then I'll transfer everything over. That's what I plan to do. I know some people just go straight in writing but I kind of need to write a little bit to get all my thoughts out. And what comes out normally after I write a few things is what I truly intend to either want to do, want to work on without all the fluff and possibly negative self-talk that comes to me. So you can do the big picture. So there's a lot of prep work you do before you even get into the months. Like, there's so much. And then there's the word of the year and why you chose the word. I haven't decided my word of the year yet, but I'm getting close to what I think it is because I randomly say it throughout my day. <laughs> not not really randomly. It just comes out and I keep thinking, that's a good word next year. That's a good word next year. So I have an idea. I just want to nail it down a little bit more. And then there's imagine your best year, which I'm excited to do this, actually. So... This is another wild card and it is going to be covering this next page but for reasons of my own um i know some people do love this go get them and it's really it is very beautifully foiled it feels really nice but as i mentioned i don't really like gold <laughs> so i'm trying to cover some of the gold that's going on in here and so i'm going to actually put my petal calendar right here with some washi tape and i got in the bundle um again it does have gold on it but not as much not all of them do only three of them do but I did get their washi tape and I'm going to be using their washi tape to actually put the wild cards in my planner so then you come to the goal section and even though I do like this floral right here I'm actually just because I need somewhere to put this I've decided this wild card, this financial check-in one, is going to go at the beginning, like, prep work of every quarter. So at the beginning of every season, I'm going to have one of these, and I'm going to fill it out. Just so I can get a snapshot of what's going on at that moment. And there's no date on here, but I'm going to, when I do fill it out, I'm going to write a date on there. So this is going to be, like, taped down right here and somewhat in the middle. I do have my next magnetic bookmark here, uh, and that's because this is where my 2020 goals are going to be. This bookmark most likely will stay here, and I do have another wild card that kind of has an overview of the goals, and that one's going to move around. But this one is going, this bookmark is going to stay here for me. You can actually color code this as well. Um, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but there's little spaces for these little flags. And you do get these flags also just in the planner without this book. So I'm going to actually color code all my goals and then carry that out through the rest of the year. Just so I know easily. So if it's a financial goal and I happen to make it green, everything that I write in green is going to be financial goal oriented. They break down how to do the planner. And then this year I heard it's different because I didn't have one last year. You actually will break down your big goal so like number one big goal you're gonna break it down even further to mini goals and starting steps which is really really helpful when something may feel overwhelming for the whole year you can break it down my next wild card is books read this year and i'm gonna have it in the beginning because this is more the annual part of it anyway and so i'm gonna write down some books that i've been wanting to read either that I already have, things that I want to get from the library or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to write them down and then I'm actually going to try to use this little star system. I haven't decided about the star system, but it does help because I do want to read more this year. I want to be more intentional of what I'm reading instead of random things that pop up. So there will be a few randoms that pop up, I am sure, but I want to have like a plan of which ones I really do want to read for 2020. And I am covering up one thing here, which is kind of sad, but that's just where I want to put it. Now for this bookmark, this is my last bookmark. I haven't decided if I'm getting more. I really do like them though. Um, this one's going to move around. So this one's going to be wherever my current place is. 
And that's what's going to hold the goals at a glance wild card that I have. So this wild card is not going to stay here. It's not going to be taped down here. It's going to move around with the bookmark. And that's just going to help me stay on track a little bit instead of like flipping back and forth to my big prep work. So every month you prepare for the month. Now this year is new. They have a full calendar, which is really nice. They, they do start on Sunday and then they have some notes on the side. I haven't decided if I'm going to use the notes or if I was going to put like stickers down it, but we shall see. I'll only show you one month because I'm not going to go through all of the months, but you have attending lists, what everybody talks about. This one's perforated so you can take it out of the book. I'm most likely going to not do that because I know if I do that, I'm going to somehow destroy it. <laughs> the action items weekly and daily, and you can use a color system either to write it in that color or use stickers to show like what does it have to do with, with your goals. And of course, not everything has to be for your big goals, but to help with progression, you should, in my mind, you should have something that has to do with your goals to progress. And then there's a month in review. So this one is a seasonal fun list. So this one's going to be, I have it in January because it's the first month and I will be doing all the prep work for the month before January starts. So this is going to be all the fun things I want to do for, the, I mean, it's still considered winter. I don't know how weather is actually going to be, but let's just call it winter. So it's going to be from January to March, which is going into a little bit of spring. But weather seasonal aside, for the next three months, these are the things that I would like to do. Now, this may carry over to the next time if I didn't don't do anything, but ideally I would like to put things that I want to have an adventure with. And so there's two more months, and I don't know what I put in the other ones. Oh, but relationship tending in February because Valentine's Day? I don't actually know why I did that, <laughs> but that's why I put it. And then March, I have my self-care one, which I think I we only get two wild cards, so I kind of just spread them around. So in six months, I'll, I'll see this self-care one again. And then... So I have this in the beginning this time, I think because January was a little different, but I might move this. Um, just a fun list. And the reason January is different is because the prep for January is that giant, not January for that season, is a giant prep. So it's different than this section because this one's just like, they have a little like spring thing in this one, like spring cleaning. Um, then you do a goal refresh every three months. And you can have a different word for the next three months, or you can carry on the same word. This can be a phrase, too. It doesn't need to be a word. I know some people put phrases, some people put affirmations. They do. You can do anything. This is your book. But that's what they're suggesting. And then a whole goal refresh happens every three months. Um, and your goals can stay the same. They can be a little refined, and they could tweak. Any Anything that works for you to keep you on track is what you need to do. Um, and then I have another financial check-in, which is the end of the prep work. So, I mean, after this, I'm just kind of like going all over again, but I do have some wild cards all over the place. So I still need to like put them in. This is organization and decluttering. But it kind of repeats there kind of more or less every three months. I think they have something, yeah, they have something seasonal. So they have a fruitful summer. And then for fall, cultivating contentment. So they kind of go along together like fruitful summer, spring cleaning. And then for fall, it's, you know, all the holidays are coming up. Um, all the gathering holidays, I guess, are coming up. So that's, that's how I have it set up for now. And then I still need to, like, actually put these down. And then I did have this. This one I kind of went back and forth on, but I decided to put it at the end of it because this is going to be just kind of a an idea dump of things I want to read the next year. And then when I get my next pack, I'm going to put these books on the books I want to read this year. So this is more of an idea, an idea dump for me. Um, let me show you some of the accessories. I showed you some already. That's what happens when you get a new planner. It's kind of hard to close. I got this pouch. It's very, very elastic it goes around my entire book but I just have it um on the back cover of the book and then if I want to walk around with my planner for any reason I can cover the entire planner and I'll secure it pretty well 
It's pretty big. It does fit the entire goal setting book in it, but it didn't fit the wildcard pages in it. I tried to stuff the wildcard. They don't fit. So that's why the wildcard pages are all have a home now. But I really like how it feels. <laughs> it just feels really good. I don't know why. And inside mine has different um, like colored leaves. And they do send you these little cute things in the boxes too. It's this here. I don't know if the light is reflecting too much. And then 2020, let's do this. I kind of want to, I can't remember, it was, I think it was this one. And maybe my word of the year, they give you a card for that. I kind of want to frame them or stick them up somewhere that I can always see them. Um, most likely in my, my office area. So you have the word of the year and then you have the let's do this. And it's just blank on the back. But I'm thinking of either framing them or somehow putting them in a way that I can see them. And then this one's actually a postcard. I think it's just kind of to share this planner. And if you ordered on launch day, I don't think they're doing this anymore, you get a sticker. I think it's a sticker, not, is it a decal? No, it's a stick. It feels like a sticker. It feels like a decal sticker, but it's a sticker. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm, depending on the material, maybe I can put it on a water bottle. I haven't decided yet. But this sticker book, I really do love. Even though I have a lot of stickers I haven't used, so I'm just going to try to use as many stickers as I can this year. So they have these longer ones, which you can kind of put every every now and then. Um, some people set it up where they put it in there so they already have like a little pop-up of celebrate your progress. And you're like, oh, I should do that. <laughs> the color coding, they have flags and they have dots. And I did my best to color code with the pens I have and I'm happy the way it turned out. It's just like this one should be a peach and I'm gonna use an orange, whatever, I'm fine. Um, I kind of wrote one here. This is actually my Bic pens, B B U. I don't know. I didn't like the color, and I don't have all of them. So I went ahead and bought the ink joys, which I like how they write. So you get four pages of dots, and then you have these little cute ones: starting step, build, do, appointments, meetings, set yourself up for success, uh, power sheets, party, which is really cute. I'm going to be using that in my calendar. So they do have 12, so you can put one. I think I've decided I'm going to start working on my power sheets on the 20th of the month and then finalize them on like the 25th of the month, somewhere around there. So I might put it, I'll decide later, but I either will put it on the day that I'm starting it or the day that I'm finalizing it. Probably the day I'm starting it because I can probably do it at the same time. So this one I thought was really, really cute. So people forget to slow down. People think that they always have to hustle. I don't like that hustling. I mean, hi, I'm a Virgo, <laughs> so I naturally do it. But we also have to slow down because when we slow down, we get more things done more efficiently than if we're just constantly working and working and burning ourselves out. So I like that this has little things like take a day off, rest, have an adventure, or just these little hearts to signify to slow down. <laughs> And then they have refreshments, which are kind of the same thing um, to me that they are. Uh, movie nights, coffee dates, play dates, put the phone down, social media free weekends, which I'm going to try my hardest to do at least once a month. It's actually very freeing when you do that. It's hard, but it's freeing. And then they have little keep tracks, prioritizing. Oh my God, all this gold. This gold! I mean, it's pretty, but also, I don't like gold. <laughs> um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the ones that are really gold. Thinking I might trade them with people, I don't know. Um, you put this on your tending sheet. I don't know if you remember what I showed you. There's a progress bar on there, so these do fit in there, I believe. Contentment. These are cute. They're little flowers. Again, with a lot of gold, but these are cute because at least it's not like super gold. Um, it's just that nice little pop of gold. Celebrate life. Prioritize wellness. These little water bottles. Shopping. I think this is probably the doctor. Again, this has a lot of gold, but um, these are cute. <laughs> Celebrate every tiny victory. And it's very important to track your wins. It could be that, you know, something random good happened to you, like you found a parking spot. Or it could be something like really big, like I just rode a bicycle for the first time and I can't really remember. 
um, yesterday, and I'm really proud and really happy that I did that. Um, we actually have bikes that we're going to be using more, and it's hard for me because of one of my chronic illnesses, but it's an electric bike, so it gives me a little bit of assistance, which I appreciate, so I can be assisted while still exercising. Super happy about that. And then um, these are just cute. None of these are gold, actually. Not gold foil, I mean. So they're little things like give thanks, joy, Father's Day, Mother's Day, holiday things, I guess. And then this is more gold. But I do like this writing, so I'm just going to use these probably. They're all really cute. Again, I just wish they weren't like super gold. But not trying to complain, I'm just saying that there's a lot of gold. Do you know what I did one year for a planner? You would probably laugh that I got something with so much gold in it because... <laughs> I mean, it was a little, it was a little extra of me to do it. I know it was, but I literally took apart a planner because I had one from the year before that didn't have any gold and it was just a cover. The inside of the planner was different. It was just a regular cover. I took it apart. Like I took off the spiral. I took off the, the cover and I switched the covers because I really did not want gold. So that that's me and my gold story, but. I'm over it. It's fine. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see if they give anything else. Oh, they give you this too. I think it's just a little advertisement, but it's really cute. So this is not going to be my daily planner. I'm actually going to use the Magic of Eye planner, and I'll make a video about that. This is the miniature version of it. And I'm okay with this gold because if you see it, it's actually a rainbow, which I really like. So this is a miniature version. I got the the you know full size version and that's on pre-order so I should get it in the next few weeks and I'll do a video about that and then I would love to actually do a video of how I use them together but yeah if you have any questions regarding power sheets or anything I just showed you just put them down below and I'll be glad to answer or if you want any other video topics about power sheets let me know bye